You there. We're from the Vigil, and we're here about the sacrifices. We heard you talking to that guard. Maybe we can help. I don't know, but I do need help. My brother was our champion. He offered himself as a sacrifice to save our village. They say it is an honor, but the champions never return, and we just keep sending more. I want to rescue my brother before it's too late. Maybe we can help each other. If you get us in to speak with your leaders, we'll come with you to save your brother. I can do that. I'd do anything to have my brother back. Come this way. This way. If we want to save him, we'll have to hurry. Hey folks, uh, so another milestone this week. We're now up to Guild Wars 30. It's over half a year we've been doing this. And today we're looking at the Champion Sacrifice uh, mission. Uh, you'll remember that we had gone to help the Hylic and uh, as we arrived, uh, in, as you just seen in the cutscene, um, this Hylic's brother has been sent into a cave as a sacrifice. Now along the way, you'll come across uh, Eagle Raptors, Scale, nothing too difficult. Just make sure that you're watching your health and that you're using your best moves. Uh, if you're really worried or if you're a low level, try and switch to ranged attacks. The advantage of having two allies is that they tend to focus on the allies and you can just shoot them down from a distance. When you get closer to the cave, you're going to come across a couple of Risen. Uh, these things are a little more dangerous than the scale, a little more dangerous than the raptors. And especially for moves like that, where you'll get knocked off your feet. So just make sure that you're watching your health and that you, you again, use your allies to your advantage. Once those are cleared, you'll get this cutscene. No! What have they done to him? Stop him! That fool frog is gonna get himself killed! Now the Hylix brother is kind of the boss for this area. Again, make use of your allies because he will focus on them for the most part. And he does have a few moves that kind of can poison and that will drain health over time. So be sure to dodge. He will start to focus on you the more damage that you do, so make sure you're dodging around and this eventually he'll fall. thing is not my brother. My brother was a hero, a champion. The undead turned him into this. And it was the priests who sent him here. Unforgivable. Yes, it's shameful. Each village champion becomes another undead soldier in the dragon's army. We have to stop this. Then we'll need to prove it. Take the head from this undead thing. When the priests and chiefs see it, they'll have to believe us. I admire your determination. Such a shocking display would be very persuasive. Leave the rest to us. For the most part now, the mission's over. Take the frog's head. And head on back to the village. It's an easy walk. There's no enemies about. The only thing you've got to watch out for is that uh, Ignu, uh, you need him to get into the village. The village is pretty much as you'd expect. You know, they're frogs. But uh, the High Priestess isn't there, and you're going to have a big decision to make. Thank you very much for watching. Remember to subscribe, and for the full diary, click across to Devil's MMO. The link's in the description below. We must speak to the High Priestess. We have proof that the champions are being killed and turned into undead. I've seen your proof, but the High Priestess is not here. She's gone to prepare for the procession. She doesn't know, Sabiti, and she's tired of hearing this from you. She'll say that head could be anybody's and dismiss you as a troublemaker. We took it straight from the undead thing Sabiti had become. What will it take to prove your sacrifices are actually making things worse? This is pointless. Come on, Ikniu. We'll have to find another way to convince your leaders.